did that up that sound. Have blues, have cried that too. Have Raza, huh? <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Carolyn Brown here, and welcome back to my show. This is my third episode of the food review. You can check on my playlist to watch the first and the second episode of this series if you are interested. Today is the second day in Three Lakes, as yesterday I finished the filming for my ninth episode of my Cooking with Carol show. Have you guys watched the show? Me and my team check in this full of comfort hotel called Sky Vista during the food review show filming. So, what I'm going to review here is the local delicacies this mountain vacation destination can offer. They are flapjacks, chicken pot pie, and charbroiled catfish. I am really excited to try the fish one since yesterday I made it blackened and baked, but today it will be charbroiled. So, to do the food review, I am going to three different local food stands. Lumber Mill Range for the Flapjack, Three Lakes Plaza for the Chicken Pot Pie, and the last one is Three Lakes Market for the Charred Broiled Catfish. Without further ado, let's go! Sheva, this was far. Flapjacks is an informal nickname for pancakes. Some people may use the terms hot cakes and griddle cakes to refer to specific types of pancakes. In the UK, the word flapjack refers to something entirely different. It is a tray-baked bars made from oats that are cooked in an oven. Typically, they are not served with any additional toppings because they resemble granola bars. The smell of these flapjacks is enough to bring me running to this food stand. A hint of butter, just enough sweetness, and lots of comforts are easy to create with this simple but delicious recipe. These flapjacks cook in minutes, easy, turn out fluffy every time, and always provide the perfect satisfying flavor you want to start your day. The recipe can also be easily adjusted to your dietary. These flapjacks are usually sweet and served with syrup or fruit. There are many variations on the flapjacks, including the delicate French crab, 
the Canadian buckwheat ployé and the potato pancake. The word flapjack is believed to come from flipping or flapping the cake on the griddle. Flaps, Miralina. Mm hmm. Everybody will fall in love with this easy chicken pot pie, with a very creamy chicken and vegetable filling lightly infused with the herbs. This classic chicken pot pie has a flaky, buttery crust, plus this pie is super easy to prep, making it a great recipe for beginner cooks and busy family alike. The filling is made by poaching uncooked chicken in stock and milk, which is then used as a broth. And look at this, the crust is baked so well. When you crack through that flaky crispy crust, it reveals the peeping hot creamy filling. Try to cool it down first before you can shuffle a huge spoonful in your mouth without burning it. So this chicken pot pie is really a show-stopping dish for me. The catfish fillets look great, don't they? Served with crispy salted veggies, coated nicely with the seasoning and smell of the char make it so perfect. Catfish is actually a great fish to work with. It holds together relatively well when pan frying or grilling. Whether you choose river catfish or farmed wine, this dish is a nice change from the typical deep fried variety. The spices form a nice light crust on the catfish and taste is wonderful. It takes very little time but has great flavor. You can serve it with no very slow and sides. It is always best when made with fresh catfish. However, if quality frozen catfish is the only available you have, that will work too. It is very flavorful. And this last local dish I try here is totally my favorite. So everybody, that is all for today's food review. I hope you enjoyed the show and of course see you soon in my next show. Bon appetit and bye bye!